Well, Caribbean people, you know where I'm at. I am at Coke's 125th anniversary. It's been spectacular. We're here at sort of the wind down situation, but it's actually winding up because it's going to be fantastic. Yeah. Right, I'm here with Mr. Mooney. Mr. Mooney is the resident historian, am I correct? That's exactly right. Yes. This is the man that knows everything about Coke. Uh, I hope so. That's yeah. right. Well, well, from what your presentation signals, you do know everything about Coke. Uh, I do know a lot. That's, that's right. Exactly. That's right. Well, how long have you been you know, with the company? I've been with the company 33 years. Wow, that's a lot of years. Yes. And you've loved every 33? Oh, absolutely. I mean, what's not to love about being around a brand with this kind of heritage, this kind of history? I'm a trained historian. Mm. And to come to a company that has had such a global impact, not only from a business standpoint, but from a standpoint of pop culture and That's all right. the influences of the brand, uh, it's, it's just been a blessing to have this job for as long as I've held it. So it's like a historian's dream then? It really is. <laughs> and, and I've had the opportunity to build not one, but two museums that wow. focus on Coca-Cola. Right. You know, we have a museum in town called the World of Coca-Cola. Yes, of course. We, we draw a Fantastic. million people a year to it. Wow. It's it's all about people's love for the brand. Yeah. So it's, you have a lot to be proud of. It, it's great to be here <laughs> on this special occasion, and it sort of you know underlines the fact that, that history is important yes indeed as we start to look forward to the next 125 years it's fantastic well said now uh you said you're a trained historian yes sir so before coke yes where were you uh i worked at syracuse university uh, upstate uh, new york upstate new york okay and then i worked for a foundation in philadelphia that built a library and museum that documented the history of immigration to the united oh, states are you kidding me no wow yeah. so do you know a little bit about caribbean immigration a little bit i mean wow. i'm certainly not an expert Right, right. right. Well, I'm going to give you a history quiz. Uh oh. You ready? I'm in trouble. Okay. Which one of the founding fathers was born in a Caribbean island? Which one of the founding fathers was born in a Caribbean island? Uh -huh. Because you know, Caribbean people have been here since the founding of the nation. Yes. I, I don't think I know the answer to that. Okay. Well, see, now I'm going to teach the yes, history uh, expert. Uh, uh, yes. So tell me. <laughs> yes. Well, the, the, the financial institutions, I'm going to give you hints. Uh, Duo in Weehawken, Weehawken, New Jersey, with Aaron Burr. Hamilton? Yes, oh, indeed. Hamilton, huh? Absolutely. Oh, fantastic. Alexander oh, Hamilton. Look, yes. and you can research yes, it. Now, now that you say that, I think I do remember uh, something like that. But I needed you to be my teacher. That's Remind right. Me. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yes, Alexander Hamilton was actually born in a, a small Caribbean island by the name of Nevis. That happens to be where my, my parents are from and my really? roots are, right, oh, exactly. So, okay. so, so I had one up on you. You had an advantage. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And, uh, you know, he, he was he was raised there till he was 12. Yeah. And then he went to another Caribbean island, which was St. Croix, yes. where I was born. Fantastic. Right. And he, sorry, go ahead. And are you still a resident of St. Croix? Uh, no, I'm actually, the, the company, Tempo, is headquartered in New Jersey. Oh, ah, okay. Got yeah, you. it's a company that I founded, uh, yeah, about, uh, well, six years ago while I was an executive at MTV. Wow. Right, wow. What right. What a great story. It's, it's a nice story. That's okay. And so you go through the Caribbean? Yeah, we're in 26. New stories? Uh, all sorts of culture and news and entertainment. It's all about the Caribbean and its values and what it means. We work with ministries of tourism. Oh, wow. and it's fantastic. But well, so you get to go to cool places We get all to the go time, to cool right? places, ah. yeah, yeah. There's always a beach involved. That, it's always, ah. always. But sometimes it's so much work, I just drive by uh, the beach. But it's still nice. I, I'm not believing you don't believe that me? Now. <laughs> I've never gone right. by a beach that I didn't go visit. I love yeah. it, I love it. So have you been to the Caribbean? Yes, I've been on cruises of stuff okay. and in several of the islands. All but, right. uh, yeah, not had you know, a lot of you know, time in any one, right. except for Aruba. Right, yeah. wonderful. Well, uh, how about this? A special invitation from myself personally and from Temple. Right? To come to the Caribbean and experience a Caribbean temple style. Fantastic. Right? That'd be awesome. Fantastic. Well, listen, Mr. Mooney, it's been a pleasure. Uh, my pleasure. Absolutely. Glad you're here for the anniversary. Hope you enjoy everything. I have. We've got a great evening in store for you. Thank you so and much. I hope you'll be at the concert tomorrow. Yes, I certainly will be. All right. Great. Absolutely. Thank so, you so there, much. there you have it. There you have it. Mr. Mooney, the resident historian here at Coca Cola, is a terrific guy, just like everybody we met here at Coke, because it's a terrific company. So, it's Temple, it's Coca Cola, and it's their 125th anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>